let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you're seeing. <laughs> Octopus in the neighborhood. Surfing on a sound wave. Swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine. Take your second right past Mars on a magic school bus. Navigate a nostril. <laughs> Climb on the magic school bus. Make a plane to Take that. On our magic school bus. Rock the river of lava. A magic school bus. Such a fine thing to do. Whoa. So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on a magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic school bus. Eruptus. Huh? What? Whoa, right? Oh no! Look out! Oh man! Carlos, according to my research, it looks to me as if you need one more piece. If you didn't spend so much time reading and researching, you might actually do something. And if you'd spent more time researching, you would have known how to put this globe together. Gotcha! I'm afraid you can't put that globe together until you have all the pieces. So, there is a piece missing. I knew that. Of course there's a piece missing. An island so new, it hasn't even been discovered yet. How can there be a new island? Everything's already here. Yeah, the Earth never changes. Does it? Actually, the Earth is changing all the time. Right under your very own feet. It is? Then I can find a new island in one of my books. What's its name? How can it have a name if it hasn't been discovered yet? Yeah! And besides, DA, by the time you find a clue in all these books, we could discover this mystery island and name it ourselves. What a positively explosive proposition, Carlos. Let's shake a leg if you get my drift. Um, you're not suggesting another field trip, are you, Miss Frizzle? Whoa! To the bus! This is your captain speaking. On behalf of my flight crew, I want to welcome you aboard Magic School Bus Airways. Bus? Do your stuff! Here we go! Whoa! Class, at our present speed, the new island should be arriving. Oh! A lot sooner than I thought! The island should be arriving? In accordance with federal regulations, let me remind you that this is a non-nail-biting flight. When we find the island, what should we name it? Let's see. I now declare this island, which I alone have discovered, to be Carlos Island. Forget it. That's a silly name for an island. What would you call it, according to my research island? <laughs> That's too clunky. Wait a minute, I've got a book of names in here. You can't even think of a name without looking it up. Let's see, we could call it Paradise Island. No, too predictable. Then there's always <laughs> Gilligan's Island. No, that's already taken. Look 
Looks like our game's gonna get rained out, Miss Frizzle. Oh, don't head for the dugout yet, Ralphie. Those aren't rain clouds. They are puffs of smoke and ash. Which means we are exactly where we need to be. Gee, look at that stuff. It smells, too. Don't look at me. Huh? Windows are covered with ashes. Put your seats in an upright position, class, and prepare for landing. We can't land now. We can't see where we're going. Don't worry, Arnold. We won't be landing for another few minutes. Whoops. Oh, make that a few seconds. Not to worry, class. Hang ten, boss! <laughs> like wow! Tubular! We could call it Empirical Island. Hmm, not bad. All ashore! that's going ashore. Uh, I don't see any shore, Miss Frizzle. That's because we're a tad early, Tim. Huh? As I always say, get out there and explore! How does she do that? Not easily, I expect. Well, in the famous words of Miss Frizzle, the early bird gets the island! Watch it! Yikes! Huh? Wait! Oh, no! Oh! <gasps> My box! Uh! I've got you! Come on, you Weasley wimps! Pull! We have to go down there, Miss Frizzle! I need my books to find that island. Wouldn't it be easier to go to a bookstore? Please, Miss Frizzle. I'm nothing without my books. Me books. Books me. Class, prepare to dive. Coming, Carlos? Not me, Miss Frizzle. I'd rather find that island than DA's books. Suit yourself, Carlos. Anchors away, mateys! Um... If you don't mind, Miss Frizzle, I'd rather keep as much water between me and the bottom of the ocean as possible. A lofty idea, Arnold. Perhaps you could help Carlos person the life raft. If you insist. And while you two are personing, put these on. Yes, Liz? Good idea, Liz. As a certified teaching lizard, you're more than capable of handling the mission. Carry on. 